leading off this week is the fastest bird ever to fly out of South Bend, Indiana, the Studebaker Gold Cup. Now look, I know a lot of you have never even heard of Studebaker, and that's understandable since the company stopped making cars in 1966. But Studebaker had a heck of a run, longer than General Motors, Chrysler, or even Ford. In fact, when the first Studebakers hit America's roadways, uh, there weren't any roadways. The absolute crown jewel in the Studebaker line, ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Hawk. Now, Studebaker made a lot of hawks. They had a Silver Hawk, they had a Power Hawk, they had a Flight Hawk. Look, they might have had a Chicken Hawk. I don't know what their fascination with hawks was, but they could have stopped when they made the Golden Hawk. From the beautiful Raymond Lowy styling to the 289 cubic inch supercharged engine, this was a car made for driving. Yeah, this is it. This is a hot little ride right here. Studebaker didn't have a lot of money to spend on engines and R&D, but boy, they spent money on style. When they say Golden Hawk, they weren't kidding. Everything's gold on this car. I know pimps that wouldn't drive this car. You got fins happening, you got a louvered hood. And don't get me wrong, there's power here. This is a supercharged V8. This thing would smoke a T-Bird or a Vet from zero to 60, and it topped out at 125. We got a fast car here, but the handling's a little sketchy, and the brakes are, uh, well, we don't want to do 125 on a mountain road. But this car is different, and here in L.A., where we specialize in different, where we love being one of a kind, where we were crazy enough to elect Arnold Schwarzenegger twice, this says, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little cooler than you. I got a golden hawk.